so today you might notice that I am in a little bit of a different background. This is my bathroom. Now, I have done a bathroom tour before, but since then I've moved house and I thought you guys would like to see my new bathroom. I'm not sure what it is about bathroom tours, but I am inherently nosy myself and I love watching them. So I hope you guys enjoy this sneak peek into my bathroom and how I organise all of my stuff. And without further ado, let me show you around. So I'm going to start off by giving you a quick overview of the room. As you can see here, I have a shower and bath kind of in one unit and then I have the window and the radiator there. And then on the other side I have my sink and kind of shelving unit thing. And then in this corner I have a heated towel rail which is full of towels. And then back behind the door here we have the loo which we're not going to dwell on for long because it is just a loo. Um, and then the lighting, the one light in the room. Um, which is very interesting. Just a note as well, um, before I get started on this, the decor in this room is not entirely to my taste. It was like this when we moved in six months ago, and instead of just redecorating, we're actually saving up to have a whole new bathroom because it isn't the most modern of bathrooms. As you can see on the floor, we still have carpet, hence we have two bath mats, which don't exactly match. Um, I thought they did when I bought them because I bought them separately, but they don't. Um, so yeah, carpet in a bathroom is not the most practical, so hopefully sometime next year we'll be able to redo the whole bathroom and have a nice shiny new suite. But until then, we are stuck with these very sexy terracotta walls. So I'm going to start by talking you through my sink and storage units in a little bit more detail. So as you can see around the sink we do have a his and hers side. So on Mike's side he has his two fragrances that he is currently wearing, uh, Blue de Chanel and Ralph Lauren Red. It, this is a giant Blue de Chanel as well guys. He got it as a gift. It's a 300ml and he absolutely loves it. It's like his favourite fragrance ever and it smells amazing. I love it too. And then he has his hair products, some shaving stuff. He has um, a deodorant and a mouthwash and his toothbrush and toothpaste. And then on my side, first of all, I have this hand wash and hand lotion set, which is actually from More, and it's the Neroli and Clementine. It smells so yummy. And I managed to pick it up in TK Maxx recently, which is very exciting. And then I have my toothpaste, which is the Oral-B Pro Expert. Love this stuff. I've been using it for a long time now. And then my toothbrush and my mini Listerine, which I'm just finishing off from my trip to LA. And then I have my little skincare corner. So I have my Emma Hardy cleansing balm at the bottom. I then have my Prevage SPF 50 day cream, which I love and I've been using for years. I have my Ulla Henriksen Pure Truth face oil, which I use at night. I have my Indeed Hydroluron Serum, which I, is a new addition. I've heard loads of good things about it and I use their eye cream, which is also down there. The Isolix, if you guys can see that there. Um, yeah, so I wanted to try that out at the back. I have a Cordly Beauty Elixir, which I actually bought when I was in LA. Such a treat. I love those, and I always go back to using them. At the back there, I have my Michael Todd Blue Green Algae Toner, which is amazing. A deodorant, which is the Sure Maximum Protection, which I just started using, and I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. It's one of those cream ones, kind of weird. And then I have my glasses case and my spare pair of glasses. Usually I use these glasses here that are out, um, as opposed to my Chanel ones on a day-to-day -day basis because I usually just wear them when I go to bed and then I have this um, like for head wrap um, for keeping my hair dry when I wash my face and then I also have a hairband for tying my hair back when I wash my face so that is what is around the sink if you guys can see kind of cluttered but not too bad and then if you look in here it is a whole nother story. So in the cupboard to the right there are three shelves as you can see and this is my side of the bathroom so I'm going to talk you quickly through each shelf. So the top shelf is where I keep my bath and body products. So on the left here I have spare shower gels as you can see I've got some Victoria's Secret ones I picked up when I was in LA and then some travel minis then I have three body butters Jo Malone Body Shop and Soap and Glory which I love. I have too many body butters. They're kind of the one thing that I don't actually finish very often. Um, the shower gel corner changes a lot but the body lotions kind of take a while. I'm quite lazy with um, using body lotion anyway. So I have my 
tan one at the front here, and then I have a new Victoria by Victoria's Secret one, and then a couple of others in the back, Corres and um, Burt's Bees. And then on the right here, I have some body sprays, a heel balm, and some hand creams at the back. And then on the second shelf down, I have all of my skincare extras that I don't use on a daily basis. So I have my Ulla Henriksen wipes at the top here. This is actually a facial kit that I don't use very often, but I wanted to keep it because it's really nice. I have some Bioderma, lip scrub, I also have some of these beauty, what are they called, beauty fixation makeup removers which just come in quite useful. And then I have some extra treatments, I have the Veleda, um, Weleda skin food which is really good, I use that on planes. I have some tea tree oil, I have some different moisturisers in the back here, um, the Fab Ultra Repair Cream which is great, Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream, a spare of my eye cream in the back there. I have a spare cleansing balm from the Body Shop which I don't use very often but I have used it and it's really nice so I wanted to keep it to use it up. Then I have some Alpha H Liquid Gold there, then I have a couple of Michael Todd um, face masks and then all the ones up here actually face masks. So I have a few sheet masks in the corner and then the Ren Glycolactic Radiance Renewer mask along with the F10 mask and a little glam glow in the back there. And then on the bottom shelf, this is my hair care shelf. So as you can see, I've got lots of leave-in conditioners. I'm trying to use them up at the moment because I have way too many. At the front I have my Unite which is almost finished. I have some It's a 10 products, um, both leave-in and kind of deep treatments. Um, a macadamia oil one, which I've just got, I haven't used that yet. Um, my Moroccan oil styling cream, a Joico product at the back, Kerastase at the front, and then on the other corner, oh, and my Charles Worthington um, melting balm, this stuff is amazing. And then I have some fake tanning products, mainly Saint Tropez, but some This Works Perfect Leg serums and gradual tans as well. So that is my kind of beauty and body care cabinet. And then moving down from that cabinet, I also have this cupboard here, which is where I keep more kind of essential toiletries rather than beauty related products. So I have my contact lenses, hand sanitizer, spare nail varnish remover, I have spare face wipes, deodorant, a lot of spare toothpaste. I don't know why I have that much. I have some spare toothbrushes for if guests come and forget them and some spare electric toothbrush heads, some teeth whitening products and lots of bits and bobs like that. And then on the bottom I shelf, a collection of empties which are waiting to be featured in a video and um, quite a bit of sun cream actually which doesn't get a lot of use but that's where I keep it so it's separate from everything else. That is my side of the cabinet. And in the middle we just keep a lot of cleaning products and then moving on to Mike's side of the cabinet which is also a little bit of my side too. We have some flannels which I use when I am washing my face with my cleansing bar. Mike also uses them when he's shaving and then in his little cupboard. And then on the top shelf he has kind of a mixture of electricals because that's where the plug is in there. Um, he has his beard trimmer and the toothbrush charger and a few other bits and bobs. And then on this shelf he has all of his spare toiletries. So he has a lot of shaving gel. I believe the one in the middle, the Penhaligon's one, is the one he uses. He has a spare um, conditioner and some of his fragrances that he doesn't use as frequently as the other ones and a razor, nail clippers, bits and bobs like that and then that's all of Mike's stuff and then on the bottom here I actually keep my bath and pampering products that I use when I have a bath so I have some lush bath ones, one still left over from last Christmas which um, I haven't been able to bring myself to use then I have a few others in this stack here and then I have an Elemis bath oil, a Ren bath oil, a lot of aromatherapy associates bath oils because I love them and then a body shop honey mania bub bubble bubble melt bath bubble melt something like that's quite nice and then my Elemis scrub which isn't technically a specifically bath kind of product as opposed to a shower product but um, I haven't finished it off so I'm just keeping it in there for the time being and then under here is where we keep our 
wash bags. Now, I have quite a lot of wash bags. I'm kind of addicted to them. Mike has one, which is the green leather one there, and then all the others are mine. Um, I like wash bags a little bit too much. And then moving over to the windowsills, you can see I have a candle burning. I don't actually burn this most of the time, usually only when I just have a bath. Um, but it is the Bath and Body Works Tropical Spice Candle and it smells quite strongly of bananas. I do like it, I don't know if I would purchase it again though. Uh, moving on to my bath and shower, um, as you can see it's an all-in-one unit, like I said we're hoping to change this sometime next year so that we have a separate shower cubicle because it's a little bit more practical. Um, in here we actually have a shower caddy shelving type thing which I bought from TK Maxx which has been really useful in tidying up the shower but also keeping products kind of out of the corners of the shower where they can tend to kind of accumulate mold and nasty stuff like that so I will show you what I have in the shower right now in the little shower caddy again it is mainly my products because I use a lot more products than Mike does um, on the corner here I have my unite weekender shampoo this is a ridiculous salon sized bottle but it was the only one I could get my hands on I then have an Avalon organics tea tree shampoo if I can move this which is really good and my new obsession the macadamia flawless which is like a six in one product that you shampoo condition like treat detangle all that jazz to your hair it's all in one so that is really good then I have my tan um, deep treatment and a L'Oreal ever pure deep treatment which I just started using the last couple of weeks and I quite like it in the back I also have a couple more um, shampoo and conditioners from Alterna which are really nice, really expensive but very nice indeed. I was given them as a gift so um, I don't know if I'll be repurchasing those but I have enjoyed using them. And then on the second shelf down this is mainly Mike's product so he has his Imperial Leather Shower Gel which he's used for years, his frizzies, straight ahead shampoo which again he has used for years and then he has his Ren Sensitive Skin Scrub which I actually got him to use finally because he doesn't use any skincare apart from that but he really likes that. Then I have my shower gel that I'm currently using which is the And Other Stories Fig shower gel. Um, I hadn't bought anything at all from And Other Stories, it's kind of like um, a more high-end version of H&M but I really like the shower gel because I love figs. And then behind him, Mike also has a couple more things. He has his conditioner, um, actually that's it, he has his conditioner, and then I have a shaving stick behind there as well, which is getting a bit messy, so I'm not going to show you. It's all still wet because we didn't have a shower that long ago. Um, and then at the bottom here, I have my Clinique Sparkle Skin Scrub and my little tan face scrub sample there. And then the plug for the bath is there because it is broken, so it kind of sits there instead of being attached to the tap. And then I have a hairband hanging off the bottom. I know most people hang like loofers and things like that, um, but I hang a hairband for when I don't want to wash my hair when I have a shower. And that is it for what is in my shower. I also actually have um, my razor stuck to the wall here, which this little sticky thing came with the razor, and they don't always come with the razors, but they're really, really useful because they keep them out of... Um, the damp and they just keep them from getting all gross if you say if you rested them on the side of your shower down here um, it just keeps them from getting all gross and I like that a lot. So that is it for my bathroom tour video I hope you guys enjoyed this video they are always a bit of a strange one but like I said in the beginning something about them is just really addictive I love watching them myself if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more then don't forget to subscribe and I will upload a new video this Friday for you all and I will see you then Bye guys! Bye guys! Today I'm joined by my beautiful friend. Oh jeez. <laughs> Nikki Philippi. Hi guys! If you don't know her, where have you been?